Coming, coming, coming. Let me just make sure I do the volume. Well. Blessed evening, my brothers and sisters. Coming just for a little bit. Just came out to take a cold shower again. While I wait for my husband, Papa Rockefeller. I said it again. My husband. I <laughs> praise the Lord, my sisters. I thank the Lord for the grace of having a husband. <laughs> my back, let me, let me then. Let me be myself because they can say that I'm trying to be trifling. Anyway, my sisters, I'm waiting for you people to come in. Yes, there is enough people where two or three are gathered in the name of God. His will, his purpose, and his presence shall grace us. Blessed evening, all my sisters. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Apostle morning. Hi. Unjan <laughs> Sisi. Unjan, you do. In row, hmm? who's squeezing herself to be my daughter in row? I see you are posted with my first eye. Hello, <laughs> sister Karen. Ah, Shamwari, Ninok Danana. How are you, my Shamwari? God bless you. This evening, I want us to have some moment together as sisters because if there's somebody who should tell their sister the truth, is their sister. So I welcome all of you, my sisters, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Before we get started, I'd just like to say two things, you know, because people, they worry. A lot of people, even men, were are sending me messages today, Apostle, I love the way you are, but can you please change your dress code and your hair? I want to tell you people that I have not qualified the level of wearing about my dress code and my hair because you know the level I qualified is the level of the Lord. I do not care about how I look, but if I die today, my children are not going to suffer because they will have property and that property they can put it for rent, sell it and do anything with generational wealth, income for them. That is the thing that matters to me. So for those of you, my sisters, who look very fine and your appearance is fine, my question to you this evening before you sleep, make it your homework. If you die today, are your daughters and your sons going to be okay? And don't run away from these bitter questions. You need to know them because when people die, they do leave children walking around here naked with no underwear. I'm sorry, my brothers and sisters. I do not want to be that kind of parent. My children will not beg. So, and by the way, since in the kingdom of Zion, the kingdom of heaven, for those of you who don't know, the Lord did the love us fear free and wonderfully made in the image of the Alpha and Omega. So in the presence of the Lord, there is nothing like I didn't comb my hair. Because if you tell me that the Lord say you don't like how I look, I'll challenge you all because it's the Lord who took away the makeup, the Brazilian hair, all the labels, the Louis Vuitton and the Gucci. I don't use them anymore. Some are still sitting in there. For those of you who are really worried, actually this woman could give you some Gucci and Louis Vuitton. You want it? <laughs> Me, I don't want it. The last time I was throwing clothes outside on the street, beautiful brand clothes that your celebrities wear in Africa, people said I am mad. Sister, that's why the Lord will not give you that thing because you, 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 you like it too much. Anyway, let me not start with comedy. So as I was saying, don't worry about how I look and my accent. That will never make the kingdom of God. And please, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, if you are making makeup and you are doing well, well, and your children have nothing, no property, no land, and you have no business, you are not trying to build yourself, then the God you are saving is setting you up for failure. But the God that I save, he tells me all the time, it is a privilege. I am not looking for privileges. I'm looking for the right, in, you understand, righteous generational wealth. Lozy woman, am I lying? We are not putting wigs so that our children can grow in this life without them begging for school fees from these white governments. Lozy woman, I plan to send my children to the best schools though, because you know these government schools, if your child is not that a sharp in the blade, they can give your child a different rubbish school. My sister, Lozy woman, as we are doing ourselves like this, so that when our children want to go to Harvard, I want to be able to pay, excuse me, by the time these boys reach 18 years, the way I've been saving up for them since they were born. I am capable and able to send them to Harvard. It's not a rich man who sends their child to Harvard. It's a woman and a man with wisdom. Somebody shake your tata. Shake your tata in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, shake your tata in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Yeah.
<laughs> you see the ones who want Louis Vuitton, send it to me. Tomorrow I'll do another raffle. Hiding and uh, throwing away heels and things. Mm? Let's do another one. As we put the devil to shame. My sisters, when the Lord tell me throw away makeup, Lost woman, my sister, Jesus just buy me a half a million house. That house was my dream house. And how it happened up to there, that's why I said the God of miracles. Papa Rokafeda told me, yeah, we couldn't afford it. I told Papa Rokafeda, I said, we're going to afford that one. And we're going to keep this one. So we have two things now. When the boy is about to go to college, this house shall be used as a college house for my boys. They can just stay here. When they meet their women, they can start to prepare here. In fact, if they do the rubbish thing, what I'm about to talk about, getting pregnant before marriage, they total go come and live here. You know, coming my half a million. And where I'm going already, by the time, two years from now, I believe the road, go put another one for my... Hey, Jehovah, shake your toto, shake your toto. Lost woman, don't start my sister. Let's carry the go as we start. Tonight, I needed you people to laugh because the matter I'm going to talk about is going to injure a lot of you because a lot of you, remember, you are injured people already. You don't even need to hear words to be injured. You just injured. You are injured. You are born injured. You need deliverance from injury. Injury is a very bad demon. Hello, <laughs> lost woman, behave yourself. <laughs> you know we need to use wise words with sense of humor to deliver it, so that the sisters don't chalk, but they receive it well. Well, I beg my sisters, swallow, swallow. Don't chew. If it's too hard, go to Nigeria. Swallow. Huh? Mm -hmm. Swallow like this, praise the Lord. Anyway, my sisters, the message you have seen, having children before marriage. The reason why I do this video is I want to burst the bubble for those of you who do not like to hear the truth. The reason why they tell us not to have children before we are married is for two reasons, my sisters. When you have children already before you are married, it's like a baggage that you carry with you. And in the order of things, God did not give people children before they were married. The whole Bible, all the stories you hear, there was nobody who fell pregnant out of wedlock. They were all already in marriage, all already set, and families knew that these ones are moving in and eating. You know, be like our generation. The Lord wanted me to tell you women who have children before marriage. It's not God's will that you people have children before marriage. It is your total, your appetite, your love for Anaconda, Wakanda, AK-47, who harder, who better, who deeper, who sweeter, is the reason why you got children before marriage. Yes, it hurts, my sister. The Lord said the reason why women get pregnant before marriage it is the lack of fear of a penis before you are married. When you start getting used to look at that thing without a condom near you like this, it becomes like a cousin. <laughs> Holy Spirit. And the Holy Ghost. Because Holy Spirit let me sweet. This one be Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost that just make me laugh. It, it, it don't care like that. Holy Ghost just like that they deliver. It means you have become comfortable. To look at that penis without a condom. All of us should be afraid to look at that penis without a condom, especially if it is not a man that you are officially married to. This message is for women who are bankarai, dananawe, bananawe. That thing has become like your cousin. Every time you come here, you are looking at it. When your friends, me when we grew up, even when my mama didn't know, there was something about penis. When I see that thing, especially without condom, it just used to look like my mother said, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against me who prosper. No, no weapon fashioned against me who prosper. Hello? Ethel, you want to be my instrument? Me, my wanga, I need you on the side, on the right side. Yeah. You can be playing boom, 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 boom. My wanga, you are employed. You are employed. Ambassador Tibon, I want you to be writing the scriptures. My sister keepers, my moderators, my sisters, my ministry sisters, the daughters of God that God has given me. I want you to be putting scriptures so that your sisters don't feel pain. Many are the women like Ambassador Tibon, you are a very good example. You are in your 40s already. You have never gotten pregnant and you've never had an abortion. It's not because you are lucky or you, you are too smart or because you did something great. 
Ambassador Tibon, it is because when you were having sex before you met my brother Matthews, who they break your back where well, the one you love. My Lord, my Lord. How you love to have me. North wing or east wing. Come and enter my hoshad and blow. It will be songs of Solomon. Now for people who are married. The Lord allowed us to enjoy one another in marriage. If you certificate, I beg area. Area, praise the Lord. You know that she don't know how to open legs. No, my sisters. She always carried the fear. The fact that she was not married, she never got comfortable. And some of us, before we got married, I'll tell you, all of us, we've had sex with men before marriage. But some of us were smart. When I say smart, we used to go and collect condom on our own. And when I say condom, it's because we're afraid of pregnancy. Ambassador Tibon, you make a very important point. Before I go to Sotai, I want to tell them the, the pregnancy level physically. The reason why you, we used to be afraid was for HIV and also to get pregnant. Me, who had big sisters that I saw get pregnant before marriage. There is something that I never liked about my sisters. My father used to boast them. My father used to talk in his house the way he want. One time I remember my sister Esnat was pregnant with her first child, Justina. Yeah, 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 yeah. She just finished high school. She was going to college. My father, I did pay him that he courage money. Nego enter. Kai Kai Nak Nak. Mm, he was so angry. And this was the daughter that was supposed to be. Hingere, hingere, hingere. You know the one that we thought she never opened legs. That when we heard that Esnat was pregnant. Now me go to my sister Esnat. I asked Esnat this. Esnat, if you are watching, remember, come and write the comment. Tell them, I think I'm lying. I asked my sister Esnat. I said, you open legs, you. I said, I see, see. She got angry at me. She wanted to whoop me. I said, you know, be me who make you pregnant. My sisters. When I saw the way my dad was treating them, my sister was eating shima that day with beans and chicken. I don't know what my father did in PHI. He came in the living room. He got on my, my sister Esnat's back. I watched my sister eating with tears running out of her eye. And I had a conversation with my sister later on. Because I would find a way to make my sisters laugh and they would talk to me. Because I'm the one that's like my sisters grew in my family. My sister told me the thing that pained her the most is that if she got a child in marriage, dad would never stand up to her like that. You cannot expect God to come and protect you when he warned you before, do not do this, you went to do it. People who are having children, if you have one child, some you even call it mistake. Let's say one child is mistake. Some of you have become professionals. <laughs> you like to look at that penis without condom in the face like that. My sister, move back. <laughs> move back. On the physical aspect, he left sperm in you. And he leaves a child. The children are not for men. The children are for women. The women, the men that give you pregnancy, do you see them change diaper or put the child on their back? Lila, the reason why our generation is getting pregnant and having bastard children, what it is described, Wedlock children are bastard children. That's not my words. That's my creator's word. It is a form of people who have become comfortable to live in sexual morality. It's not like I married a virgin. Papa Rockefeller never married a virgin. No. Otherwise, I'd have told him to put white carpet and white bed sheet so that he can go and cry the virginity. I was not a virgin. It's the way we slept with men and how we were conscious and careful and afraid. And if you are the boyfriend, me before I married, the amount of men that I've slept with in my life. Papa Rokafera be the fourth man. The fourth man is the man that married me. And I was the girl that worked with Dan Kaya, PJ. I worked with men. I used to sleep with the Zambian industry men, you know. I used to share same mattresses with the guys. I was like one of the guys. Nobody knocked me. And I used to also see backup singers and dancers get knocked by the musicians they worked with. At first, in the childish mentality, I thought because I'm not cute, they don't have a sexual appetite for me. But now, exactly where I am and what I learned, the anointing upon me would not allow rubbish. No. God had a man for me. And if this man had to deal with another man when I have children already, do you know how much complications that brings? Actually, having children out of marriage is a sign of you living without fear for God. Number one is mistake. Number two, Ambassador Tibon, number three, 
Number four, I have cousins in Matero. My grandfather in Matero has got daughters. No daughters ever married except one. All of them, they have children with different men. They have children, three, three, four, 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 two, two, two. They have never worked hard to take care of their father to make sure that their father lives the old life to enjoy. At that age, they are still living at their father's house. And the worst thing, the same children out of wedlock are also living at the grandfather's house. The grandchildren are calling, the, 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 the children of the father is calling, the grand, great grandchildren are calling grandchildren, uh, grandpapa, papa. Taboo. Pia. You quote African tradition. Lie, lie. The Lord said, go to your father. That's why when Abraham was blessing his children, he said, is the father only there to bless them? You expect grandfathers to bless their, their grandchildren. Una, 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 una cray. Don't bring the Lord in sexual morality, make him look like families they do nyaka nyaka together. A lot of you women will not like this. It's what bought the beef in my country. And the fact that Kiddy said having children, she was right. Even us, we used to be girls like you. I'm in my 40s. But slept only with four men in my life. And I know each and every one of them. The one, the fourth one, marry me. My total was not loose when he married me. My private parts were not completely finished when he married me. Period. You are destroying and deteriorating your body. And then in the realm of the spirit, some of you, the men you have slept with, their cultures and the witchcraft shrines and a, a tree lines they are coming from. Every time they sleep with a woman, that woman, she brings offering and segregage to that shrine. You have never physically gone to that segregage to bring anything on the shrine. But your body brings it. That's why there are some women, something the Holy Spirit let me in. There are some women who get pregnant spiritually. There was one time my little apostle here, he was looking at another fake charlatan son. She was start to feel her total. And you know, she just 15, 16. I think the devil wanted to tickle her toto down there. I don't know what she felt down there on her toto. Apostle Mone. I know God I do. She felt something there. She didn't do anything sexually with the boy. She came in Zoom one day. I rebuked her. I said, Mone, what rubbish are you doing? Because you look pregnant, you. I went to the station. I said, look, Apostle Mone is looking pregnant. But what I know is that Apostle Mone is a virgin. She has not had sex. And that's how she started talking. Apostle Mone is here. She's the one who wrote truth with laughing emoji. She said, I was looking at the son of the one of the other sons of the charlatan, and he was making me feel nyaka nyaka. I understand that, uh, Ambassador Timo. <laughs> she said, he was making me feel nyaka nyaka. I said, don't ever do that again. Because now, even if he came in your dream and he has not even had sex with you, you don't even have ties. Some of you, the people you slept with, they get a baby from you every six years, the number of Satan. But you've never gone to labor. Spiritually, you have given birth you in the realm of the spirit. And that's why some of you, that man you slept with, he blocked your womb. He kept it to himself. He was not doing you inside to enjoy. He was doing and something in his penis. Because the penis has a, has a hole. Those of you who like to look at it close, since I'm talking to sisters who know the penis well, well, let's be just open. That's why I came late in the night. Those of you who like to look at it close like that, you need to check in front. There's a small pipe where the pee, they come from, where they do trrr, a small pipe. That thing was sucking everything out of you. It was going inside the man. And there's a dangerous between egg, sperm, and blood. It's what the devil loves. So when we meet to actually have sex before we are married, Satan loves it. But when you do it under marriage, that's why if a man has not married you, he knock you in the niash. He go give you problem of your life. Home. And you are not covered. In marriage, it's yours. Mm. Marriage is undef undefiable. It is not defiled. The bedroom. That's why God wanted you to wait. That penis you want to look close, HD, high definition. 
My sister, you could wait in marriage. You. And you know when you're in marriage, it'll be yours. You can just be passing left, right. Una just feel it. Meshua, epochidi. Why kata kofi wafwa ambasanda tibon? How you say it in Zulu? Just to feel it. Feel it, man. Just to check. Is my property is there because it's your inheritance. The body of the man is yours. The body of the woman is for the man. Just to check it like a like registration card. Like your rage or your national registration card. You just check it. Oh, it's there. You just feel up. Oh. They make. And I know lovely woman. Ambassador Tibo. Whether you want to say you're of God or not, every woman who is happy with their husband, we they do this, married people, don't feel ashamed though. That's why I came late here. I'm talking to married people and I'm also talking to women that are already having children. We they look at it to my sisters and in our own house, especially if children don't understand and they're not around, we they play hide and see, kick a boo. Find me, I find you. Seek me, I seek you. Slap my face, I go fat on your face. Married people know what I'm talking about. It's sweet in marriage. And you never have to worry about so types. Hello? So, having sex out of marriage is a very dangerous thing. What I know now, I tell myself, those three guys that I gave my source, especially the one I gave my virginity, I would have saved it for Papa Rukafira because these other men, they were not even worthy of it. When I entered marriage, and when I found out the difference between lovemaking and this marriage that they make us do naga naga out of marriage out of marriage we don't enjoy each other my sisters i don't care what your boyfriend is even if he's a vagina slayer vagina breaker he the pop papa pum 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 in marriage there's just something else there's bevra somebody google for me what is the meaning of bevra there's extra soup only married people understand so my sisters who are having children out of wedlock you create a name for yourself only a promiscuous woman shall collect children out of wedlock. Because it shows in our character. And you also bring the children in the most bad predicament situation. Children who are born out of marriage, they have a difficult time, most of them. Whether the mother or the father marry. If it is a child of a, of a woman, the woman marries. You know the difficult of... The stepfather and the child clicking together, how difficult it is. And then when you go to the women, you know how it is for another woman to raise another woman's child. And you know how sad it is when you are sharing children, 50%, 50% custard. It was never the intention of God for you in the first place. But the Bible says God will not force you. Apongos are my line. <laughs> Miss Chamling. Ni bevra my wanga. Ni supum donyeri. Supum danana. Hati supum donyeri. Kai kai mama wewe. Supum donyeri. Kai kai mama wewe. Supum donyeri. Kai kai mama wewe. Supum donyeri. Ika, ika, ika. My wanga ni tueka. Panika supum donyeri. And then, eh, eh. So... My brothers and sisters, you know how it is for a stepmother, for another woman to raise that child for you. And children are getting punished. When you see children being raised in bad homes, where they are born out of wedlock, we all feel sorry. But if the mother of that child would have waited for God to give her a man, that child would have never been found in there. <coughs> and some of you, God has blessed you with anointed children. You were not supposed to have them out of wedlock. When a child is born in marriage, the secret, it's born under the covenant of the lineage of Abraham. Yes. This world will tell you, yeah, a child happened, the child is my blessing. It was never the will of God for you to have a child like that. And that's why even the women that don't have man these days, can't you see the way they have convinced us women to disobey and disregard God? Hmm? Now women go to have IV, spam donors, just to have kids on their own. Una play. What was the order of the Lord? Even when Eve make mistake in the garden, in the garden of Eden, the Lord never kick a, a Eva out. Like if he was still putting them together, he still wanted them together. There's a sister here, he says, it's so true, I'm a mom of eight, 
never married but one man. Now I raise them alone and it is a battle for them. Wait on the right man. My sister Deborah, thank you for expressing the truth out here. Because fe your fellow women who they like to, 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 to look at, Sister Deborah, you were also looking at the penis too close. But at least, my sister, God bless your soul because it's one man. Because if it is one man, the children are one. It's also different. But this one that they are even having children from four or five different men. Do you know how much blood lineage can be tough? One woman's blood is, enough, is not enough for four men, four children. Lila. Hmm? Laila. There's a sister here. Her name is Zain, Zain Ka Kavika. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Manawa Satan. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Manawa Satan. Musulwani yoko Satan. You want to come on my page here to come and start fights again. Lie. It will not happen. Muzikanji is a woman of God too. She's walking to the altar. If today, she, tomorrow she changes, her past is going to be actually what is going to make great. Kidist is on the way to the altar. Her past is what is going to make her great as a woman of God. Kui papa chimens. Chiriben and son. Get out of here. That's why I'm going to follow you. I'm going to tap 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 you. Hello, there is nothing that you children of Satan can ever go and report to the Lord that I'm insulting you. The Lord will sit with me like he sits with you. Did I insult you from nowhere? I'm going to tap you. My sisters, let's continue. Keep your legs tight. Keep your legs tight. What kid is said is the same thing that I said. Having children out of wedlock is not good. All of us, we used to be girls like all of you. But you want to come here, Sister Zainab, to, at the cost of writing a comment, first you put kids down and then you write a comment. That's not of God. Choke up. Choke up. Chimutu. Masache vaupu wa choka pa. Choka pa. Mburo kamba fichani. Kasa kire follow wingi yako. Leka mlungu wakupase mpata po kambida. Kakambide pa. Did God give you a platform and a free freedom to speak here? I'm held responsible for everything I speak at this altar. My father holds me accountable. If I do rubbish, I've got three children connected to this altar through Jesus Christ. You who is speaking on my timeline. Did God give you permission to speak? Choka pa. Chimutu. Let's continue, my sisters. Haters will not ruin anything here. And they rebuke the children of Satan. They are haters. Mm. I want to bring another woman down before you can write something good. Not on my platform. Not on my pla not on this following of Jesus Christ. I refuse. Because I can't my followers. Kunganga zinzanu. Kunoti seven zesa yesu ise bai wanga. Yero ti shapura wana wama hule wa satana. Ti kwapura. Ti benazo. Gamzati Zonda and followers, reporters, bloggers. You cannot remove us out of it. Even the owner of Facebook has tried. It don't happen. People are not allowed to use universal music. I'm one of the people, the whole entire Facebook, the whole entire world. I'm used to use Dr. Dre. I'm, I'm allowed to use Beyonce's beat when I sing and worship the Lord. You know who gave me that license? The Lord. Your time to wake has come in the night. Not today. On this page, we are not saving Yash, my sister. You are not allowed to wake here. Essential workers left. Precious workers for Jesus, right. Idiot. Let's carry the go, my sister. As we are here, here, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, it is going to hate you. If you have children out of wedlock, you have to face your... You, you, you don't choose. Remember when you took your clothes off, you lay down with a man. You chose. That was your decision. Now when people are coming out here, when men, men do not want to marry women who have children already. Do you know why they do that? Because Ambassador Tibon will tell you, my sister be putting a, a scriptures so that they don't say that I was insulting. I'm backed up by the scripture of the Lord. Because they think I'd be a joke of apostle for them. Ambassador Tibon, be putting scriptures for them. 
The reason why men do not want to marry children, women with children already, is difficult. In the Bible, when a, a man wanted to marry, his father told him which home to go and marry. It not be Abraham who told his son where to go and find a wife. Let's be real, my sisters. It's not Abraham who told his son where to go and find Leah. It is. People marry from families based on reputation. Reputation is the name of your family lineage. If your whole family is women that are having children out of wedlock, I'm sorry, my sisters. More men will come and have relationships with you. They will not marry you. They'll leave children in your family and they'll keep coming and going. Just like my sister who wrote that she had eight children. At the point when she reached child number two, she had the point where God was speaking to her. She could have left, but probably my sister loved the man so much. She thought, oh, it will work. Let me continue. She thought that that was her husband, but God was showing her. Child number one, man, don't put ring on you. Child number two, man, don't put ring on you. My sisters, if a man can lay down with you and give you eight children and not marry you, he's a wicked soul. Do not even lay down for another nine or ten. Sister Deborah, am I lying, my sister? Thank you for sharing your testimony and for using yourself to be open here. May God bless you, for it is not disgrace. And for the fact that you are open and truthful like this. May God send a husband that is going to love you and show you all the care you deserve, that you will not remember all this time that you were raising the eight children by yourself. Because when he gives you the right Abraham, my sister, you don't even remember the past. So if you do that, you have to know it, my sisters. And most of you, if you want to test a man, have sex with a boyfriend without a condom, and then later on, call him after three days. Or after a week, Grrr, I'm pregnant. If the guy is going to react like he wants to run, if you are not pregnant, you don't need Holy Spirit to come down and tell you, leave that cute idiot. Run from that side in. But women, even men that cannot be changed, the ones that Jesus himself said he cannot change them, we'll have to change them all. And when we start having children as young people in our teenage life, 19, 20, 21, most of us, we think the first man that you open your, your tototo is the one you will marry. My sisters, when you're opening toto, the first one you open tototo is not the one you will marry. Because in the end, lousy woman, ambassador Tipon, my sisters, this one is for all of us because we are also carrying this disgrace of past. Because I know that I'm lousy woman, upon because you were never a virgin. Mrs. Chamblin, I don't think you were ever a virgin. All of us, now the devil, they like us to test that forbidden fruit. We all open our legs. We are never virgin. My sisters, come close here. Am I lying? Am I lying? Am I lying? Close your legs. Close your legs. Because we found out, lousy woman, was it the first man who broke your toto? I was looking down at Pongo's Mrs. Chamberlain, lousy woman, Ambassador Tibo. Is Matthew the one who break your toto for virginity? Because you know they are my in-laws since they are paying me groom price. I have to do china mwari, china renga. I have to give them respect. That's why I'm doing the African traditional girl looking down. The Lord said to see what they want to see. We all found out. It's not the first man we slept with that we, we are married to. And Ambassador Tibor. Had we known that that was the predicament, my sister, I don't know what one underwears we were wearing that time, if it's G-string or what. You know, my sister, me, I don't deal with G-string. That thing never worked for me, go for people. Some of us are just village women. They never worked for me, go for people. They leave so many stinking things. Anyway, carry the uh, Some of us were opening G-string. Some of us were taking off full underwear. Would you have taken it off? This is something I talked to the Lord about. If I knew that the man that I slept with first time was not going, is not the man that is, is going to be my husband, I would have not taken my underwear out. I would have not. And this is to all some of you young girls like Ambassador, eh, 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 who you say I'm, eh, Muone. You see it? 
Don't take your underwear off because you are a virgin. Keep that total locked. Seal it with the blood of Jesus. Any man who wants to enter your total, make him seek the kingdom of God so that the Lord can give him the keys to your total. Because every man who takes a woman, he collects a certain key from the Lord. That's why when they make nonsense and they do rubbish, you send their name to Holy Penitentiary Center Jail in heaven. The Lord, they collect his name. They summon him for meeting. Let me tell you, my sisters, they flock in Holy Penitentiary Center. They flock. I see men come out there, they say, oh, the Lord needs. They say, please, Master, why are you doing my, I say, my, my brother? You think God is to play with? Mm hmm? Lozy woman, even me, I always tell the Lord how I wish I knew. How I wish I knew. Sister Nyoni, I'm a virgin. Please, praise the Lord. We have two virgins in the house. Lord, let this conversation be segregated. Let it be holy like incense before your presence so that our generation shall receive it in Jesus' name. Keep it like that, my sister Nyoni. And you are marrying very soon. It will be a fair game with your husband. And if your husband is not a virgin, it's okay. But it is going to be a fair game because you, virgin and virgin, I beg, it's very good. You first need to break each other's bone to find out how to ride the bicycle. It's okay. I'm telling you, it's okay. But these are the reasons why people tell us, don't get pregnant before marriage. And fornication is a dis disgrace. Somebody can say that again. Fornication is a disgrace, you can say that. And you know, that's something that my mother lent me so much when I was young. Me, the way my mother used to talk about sex with us. My sisters, you couldn't be horny. And when you do it in private, yeah, the first time, the virginity breaking time, I was under the roof of my parents. And then the other two times, it was in my own house. But even when a boyfriend slept over in my house and we knock, the next morning, and because I would live with my cousin, Mir, there's something that didn't feel right. I wanted the, the mother soccer to live very fast. Hmm? My brothers and sisters, it is filthy. I would feel disgusting, Ambassador Tibon, and I would be afraid like my mother would see me. But my mother would always tell me, where you lie down with a man, you are collecting more than what you bargain. She would speak deep. Virgins are not useless. They enter an easy life. You do not have segregation and raptures down there on the toto. You also do not have a lot of spiritual warfare to carry. And then when it comes in the realm of the spirit, Every man that sleeps with you connects you to his family and his people. That's why some of you have got bipolar tension demons. You wake up hot, cold, mad, sad, bad, good, ugly, sad, wewe, wawa, woo woo, wee woo. All the time, you know why? Sex. Sex. Oh, yes. And the dangers are the ones who used to be like me, where you even had experience with women. Yes, I don't want to go in details, but I've also had sexual experience with women. A lot of you know about my past. I also do drugs before in my life. I beg before Jesus found me. Especially those that sleep with men and women. Double, you are collecting. The demons that come in your life, they confuse you. Yes. Some men, they slept with a, a man when they were young who is homosexual. And they marry a woman. The woman had a child. And the son that came out of that woman had the same homosexual tension as the man he slept with when he was 15 years old. God, if people knew how much you love us all, they would not play with the Satan. He they want to waka us. Waka. Waka us. My brothers and sisters, have you ever heard of it? 
a man slept with a woman who is so bitter, rage. Some of you, your husbands, every woman they were having sex with, especially in the pregnancy, especially when we are pregnant and the man is, the child is also taking part. And that's why there are some women, the mother is so gentle and sweet. People don't understand why the daughter is left. Some of you, you've given birth to side chicks. Oh, yes. Hmm? My brothers and sisters, any person who tells you let's get pregnant before we get married, don't do that. Go and look at children that are born in such predicament. And the world can feel sorry and all they want and say. But the parent of the children had a choice. I gave an example of Ambassador Tibon. She's married. She waited. She's in her 40s. No abortion. No child out of marriage. It is not because Ambassador Tibon is intelligent than you people. No. Ambassador Tibon fears. And because she loved her life and her freedom, she always knew when I bring a child, it is going to be my responsibility. And if I'm going to do it, I want to do it in marriage with a man. I do not want to do it alone. She was smart. The reason why I didn't want to get pregnant when I was young. My talent made me travel, go around the world to go and sing for kings and queens, for people that I never thought I would meet. This same gift he gave me out of my mouth. And because of loving to fly and the freedom I had and how much money I would make and how I was so young and still be one of the breadwinners in my family and helping my brothers and sisters, that motivated me. The fact that when I came out abroad and my nieces and nephews came around, they knew it is bowling, it is happening, and Trakeo is here. That's what they call me. That made me close my eye and my leg. That's the reason why I never got pregnant. I did have sex without a condom with man. Hello? But there was fear. The fear was greater than the enjoyment of sex. And I never used to have sex like the way this generation has sex. In two months, you and your boyfriend have knocked each other six times. Me, the type of sex we are stiffing in our generation, Ambassador Tibo, let me even think. It was the type of sex like he broke my virginity in 2000. And I dated him up to 2005. We broke up. He broke my virginity. And in that point, he only slept with me after breaking the virginity. And that's why the relationship did not last because he wanted to keep on having sex. But I thought you have already tested it. Now, let's keep growing together. No. And after he broke up with me, I didn't have a boyfriend. I would go six, seven years without having sex with nobody before I met my husband. Before I met Papa Rocafera. I was alone. In fact, Lord, I don't want to lie. I was alone for a long time, but I remember I had that teething partner who was breaking my back. Small, small, the last dead man. He's a musician in the Zambian industry. I don't want to mention his name because his wife, Debbie, on Facebook here, we are friends. We follow each other big. He was one of those people that we had teething one another. We had a very great connection, and the industry knows about him and me. That's why I don't want to mention it. Brothers and sisters, I remember when I do that thing with that boy, with that man, boy, with that man, it was like 10 years. I didn't have any activities down there. And then we went clubbing, and then it happened. And from sleeping with that young man, that's why I say God will give us grace. I felt so ashamed and afraid. And the next morning, he drove me before he went to work. He drove me at the Lusaka Playhouse. I entered the Lusaka Playhouse. I bathed that day in the morning first. I went home to Kaunda Square. He dropped me in Kaunda Square, stage one. That's where my school is. And I lived behind. By that time, I was going bankrupt. I went, I changed my clothes, and then he drove me to Lusaka Playhouse. And when I walked in in Lusaka Playhouse, that's how I met Papa Rokafela, the father of my children. Yes. So my brothers and sisters, the type of sex that I'm talking about was the type in six, seven years, you have sex in 10 years. And I think because I was such a music oriented creative person and because i was writing for different people the, the the music took over and that's why i was blowing indian hip i could not handle alcohol 
So my sisters, some of you, it just makes me wonder. You are not married to a man. I used to have college student friends that would go and visit boyfriends. You're even staying over the dorm of the boyfriend. The man knocking you for free. Me, I've been escorting people for sex appointment. That's why the Lord called me a post because my eye, they say too much. <laughs> my sisters. And there's something that always made me think, Lozy woman, Ambassador Tibon, the girls that came from the rich family, that knew what is good and bad, that knew better, that were intelligent enough, Lozy woman. Those are the ones that used to love to go and sleep with men and give it up like that. You think your body want to enjoy? A lot of women say, it's sweet, oh, I cannot tell. It's sweet, it's too sweet. Oh, it's sweet, oh. That's sweet, my sister. It go put you in You go wish you didn't do this. Some of you don't even behave normal. They knock, they consume your mind, body, soul, and spirit. You are under. When you come close, nanyash of different men you are smelling. That's why the job of a prostitute. You need to see our prostitutes. Prostitutes, they carry spiritual warfare and spirits of other people, ambassador Tibor. Prostitutes, they play every character of every woman. When they meet a buyer and a blesser, they start from, Hi, my darling. Yes. If you don't pay them, they are also equipped the demon in them with the Tawampelimbia. 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 Prostitutes are ready. The spirits, that's why people laugh at prostitutes. My sisters, they look like laughing matter. But every prostitute has slept with different men. You know what? The biggest job that Satan loves in the world is prostitution. When men want to do rituals, they go to prostitutes to live the ritual lines. When men want to collect free life that nobody cares about, it is sex workers they go to. And the women do not realize how spiritual this thing is. That's why when you meet a prostitute, I have grown up with them in my neighborhood in Kaundasko. There was one, I don't mention her name because last time I mentioned her name here, my brother sent me, he said, I still live in the same neighborhood with her. Don't try to bring me problems. This one, when I meet her, I'm performing and, and uh, doing the music I used to do with the live band at the lounge in Zambia. Those of you who know the lounge, if it's still there. This one, if she found me and I greeted her, she never wanted to talk to me. But when I come there with white men, my white friends, let's just come and, and chill. Yeah. Rachel! 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 I become Rachel. I say, hey, my wanga. And even me, I never avoided her. At that time, I just take the grace. I said, the demon, shut up today. They are talking to me, no. That's not the life. And that's why how a prostitute dies if they don't repent. You should see how a prostitute deteriorates. She starts from being a popoka. What do you call a popoka, lozy woman? Ambassador Tibon, what do you call those women? You know a prostitute when they start their rubbish, having sex with different men. They have beautiful bodies. But the way a prostitute dies is not even HIV. It is the succubus bacteria spirit from the pit of hell that every man's fibros, bacteria, detergents of wickedness I inflicted in her. And some of you, men have to sleep on you on certain days. And let's even go deep. Women who are not married, who like to have sex with their boyfriends on their period. Hey! Mm. Ambassador Tibon, where are you? At this point, I need you, my guru. My guru. Slash my nini. My anointed Google. My anointed Siri. Where are you? Tibon. Tembisa. Where are you? Those of you that like to have sex on your period. 
You are the worst ones. When a woman is menstruating, if it's not a man that gets to touch her, there is a gray area that people don't tell us as women. Some of you, your, your period cycle is messed up because of that rubbish. Because what the doctor will never tell you is what is dangerous. The doctor knows your body. Does the doctor know the spirit? Does the doctor understand the divine spirit of the living God? No. This is to you, my sisters. It's not worth it. And it's not even good. If you have children already, you have to go to God and ask for mercy. Don't accept the child that it's, it's a blessing. No. You brought a child in a predicament that was never the will and purpose of God. Go and ask mercy from God. Break the covenant of sexual morality and covenants of having sex before marriage and children before wedlock. Cut it and whatever child you carry, say that this child shall not repeat the pattern that I've repeated. Because most of us, it starts in our family lineage. It's not you who got pregnant and before marriage. Ask your mother and your father. Ask your grandmother and your grandfather. It starts in families. And when families tolerate that behavior of people having children before marriage, they will come the spirit. And that's something that the Lord is going to punish the Western world, the white people the most, my husband's people. Because the white people, they don't fear the law of God. Most of them are not in marriage. They are in relationships. That's why when they meet us black women, we make them marry us. It's not because we want will or finances. It is to be under, under the covenant of the blood of Jesus is to be under the covenant, the way of God. Because if a child is not born in marriage, he's also not in the way and the will of God. What is the will of God? The man shall leave his father's home. He that finds a blessed thing, if that finds a wife, finds a blessing. The two shall become one. And let what God has put together, not no man separate. That's why in the first year when I started ministry, I had sisters that were engaged or had children with men but never married and they were living together. I told them, yours has finished to even do wedding. If you want to do wedding, it is at your own desire. But yours, the fact that you already have children, everybody that I met in that year, they went to the government house, they went to marry each other. Yes, I said it was for the children. God takes mercy because that means they repented and they fixed the wrongs they did. My brothers and sisters, here in the Western world, divorce is so known because they also don't know marriage, but they know contracts and they also know how to have children with one another and live with each other for years like under the covenant of marriage. Yet, they just don't do the most simplest thing which defines and identifies the fear of God in us men. Go and marry before the sight of God and men. And that's why they are telling this generation marriage is a piece of certificate. Lie. That certificate is great in the sight of men here on earth. But the imprint that it has in the sight of God, it is great. Family stars children stars, wealth stars, lineage blessings, all these stars that God has given us, which is the light in the Holy Spirit and in his word. Children miss it. Because your children are counted. They counted Abraham's children under the covenant of God in marriage with Sarah. And that's why the child of Hagar was not treated completely the same as much as God took grace. Because God honors marriage and he loves us to wait to do everything in marriage. If you did not get a child in wedlock, it would be very easy to find a husband. 
it will be very easy to take care of yourself. If you are the only one who has to feed yourself, my sisters, whether you like to face it or not, it is much easier to feed yourself than you are looking for other people, to care for other people. But if you have a man, you go through everything together. The good, the bad, the ugly, the sad, the happy, you do everything together. My sister, you can say that again. Marriage is honorable before the presence of God. And that's why you see poor people who come from villages, their mother send them abroad. It'd be like Nigerian movie. God honored those two people who married one another. And the fact that this generation doesn't fear marriage, God has been favorable to people that are leaning in and holding on to marriage. Because these days, it'd be like two days, divorce and thinking that you have power. Don't divorce because you do not know what you are walking away from and what you are going to walk away with when you, when you, you, you are attached to things. Let the Lord be the one to orchestrate if there will ever be any divorce. Because if it's the will of God, even men will not understand. Just like Hagar had to have a child for Abraham. Hello? So let me close my brothers and sisters. My husband, Papa Rokafira, is here. Let me try to call Sister Sharon. I just see a message here. I'll see you people tomorrow by the will and the grace of God. So to all the women that have children out of marriage, please... Don't feel angry when people are calling you out. It's a name. In the old days when a woman had children before marriage, they were also treated in a way that a lot of people would not like it. But that's why the God of Abraham is direct. We want God to feel sorry for us when he gives us the law and the rule and his precepts and commandments. We do not want to take them serious. In the old days when you had children before marriage, out of wedlock, what was they called bastard babies? I beg, no man wanted to marry from me. It was another thing. This generation has become like its outfit on and off. Let's wake up, my brothers and sisters. May God bless all of you. I'll see you tomorrow by the will and the grace.